To all the Adrianette lovers out there, how does it feel to always stay winning? Not only has this entire season so far heavily revolved around the two and brought major development for them, but this seems to only just be the beginning because let's not forget that a while back, Winnie shared this on his Twitter, showing a doodle he drew on the cover for The Miraculous Ladybug season six and seven script. We've got a lot to discuss about this episode, so let's get into it. So like many other episodes this season, Transmission 2 is picking up right from where we left off at the end of episode 9, Elation, and we can see that Marinette isn't taking what happened very well. Because she missed school that day, we would soon see Adrian come over to drop off her homework and attempt to cheer her up when it is that Marinette tells him that while she had feelings for him, she doesn't anymore. And Adrian, who just confessed his love to her, would end up leaving while holding in his tears. Now, of course, Gabriel Gabriel would take advantage of his emotions, however just before doing so, doesn't. I was shocked, but not for long seeing as Gabriel only waited on akumatizing him so that he could give him an alliance ring to make his akumatization stronger. Fortunately and unfortunately though, just before Gabriel has the chance to send off his akuma to Adrian, because Plague and Tiki had both just taken back the Miraculouses from Marinette and Adrian, the two would now be free and and full of relief immediately lifting their spirits. This however was difficult to watch because seeing how easily they handed their miraculouses over and didn't even think to say goodbye to one another as Ladybug or Cat Noir really just goes to remind us how much Lady Noir is kind of just being pushed to the side this season and for obvious reasons. Also this scene right here had to be one of my favorites from the entire episode because seeing Natalie and Gabriel staring at one another here, Natalie appearing to have that upper hand because she's on the higher steps while looking down on him and standing her ground against Gabriel warning him to not take advantage of Adrian's emotions here has me cheering so loud for her. With Adrian now heading back to Marinette's to give her her homework and the two both doing better, this is when Adrian would take the opportunity to ask Marinette questions to which she could respond by with using her hands since speaking was too difficult and all I've got to say is that Adrian continues to raise everyone's standards. Over with Tiki and Plague though, they would need to find their new holders as soon as possible, and while Tiki would return to Alia who she's familiar with, Plague would do a very Plague thing and toss the Miraculous at Zoe out of nowhere. Throughout the episode, we also came to meet a brand new Miraculous character who trains with Nora, and that being Bobby. Because he was wearing five alliance rings, this would allow for him to use up to five Miraculous's powers, and those being Voyage, Resistance, Multitude, Shelter, and Clout. In order for Scarabella and Kitty Noir to defeat him, they'd need to cover his face, which was currently being shielded, in order to force him to unshield himself allowing for Scarabella to break his headpiece containing the Akuma. With Adrian and Marinette now ending the episode off on good terms, and us getting a look at the end card of episode 10 of this season, we'd see one last moment between Gabriel and his alliance ring, where it is we learn that he's now discovered the identities of our new holders for the Black Cat and Ladybug Miraculous because of the alliance rings. And so seeing as we've already seen episode 12 of this season, we do know that Ladybug Bug and Cat Noir will return, but for the reasoning, I wonder why. Either they've come to their senses that they need to continue taking on that role of being Paris's heroes, or Alia and Zoe left them with no choice and needed help. This certainly wouldn't be the first time we've seen Gabriel go after Alia, and I'm worried if this time he'll really succeed in getting what it is he wants out of her, along with Zoe too. Overall, I felt this episode moved really quickly, and that is usually the flow of things when it comes to these two-part episodes. However, I hope that during part two, we can get to see more of Zoe and Alia's perspectives right now of having to carry the responsibility of being the holders of the two strongest miraculouses and of course also see the direction Adrianette will go throughout the episode. This may or may not be news to some, but this was our very last episode that we'd received for this season this year and I'm really glad we were able to end it off on this note seeing as chronological 
logically, this was the next episode we needed. There hasn't yet been any specific month nor date when we can expect for any new season 5 content to release. However, there has been word that this break could last a few months. So if you've been wanting to do that miraculous free watch or have time for even any other series, now would be the perfect time. And on a brighter note, while we will be on a break right now in terms of new episodes, we do have the Awakening movie to expect next year, and who knows what else we'll be seeing in the meantime while we wait for the date to get closer and closer. Already there has been more spottings of Awakening Miraculous Ladybug merch, and I for one have been keeping my eye on the book here, because for the past year and a half it has been a good way to give us an idea if dates are being pushed back or not. Regardless though, I really do feel like this date is really the one that we will be getting for the movie. And I mean, at this point, it better be because we've all been patiently waiting too long now. As always, be sure to let me know your thoughts and theories down below and subscribe so you never miss the tea on the show you love. And I'll see you guys in the next one.